Hi. You, uh, you may have seen this pop up on your local social media feed, wherever you get it. This uh, controversy, if you will, with uh, Justin Alexander, who I had here on uh, for an interview not that long ago, and his renaming of the term jacazing, or as he had spelt it earlier, jacaying, to Xandering. There's a blog post, I'll link to it, that goes through at least one version of events. You can read Justin's responses in Twitter, and I think he has at least one blog post on his website about it. I'm just disappointed. I'm disappointed in what was done in the renaming. I'm Certainly the timing is awful. I don't want to get into the nitty-gritty of timing and the timelines. There's a lot of chatter back and forth about all aspects of this, and I don't, I don't care. At the end of the day, that's not what matters. You'll read and hear people talking about Ms. Jacques wanted her name off, off of this technique. Maybe she talked to Justin about it. We don't have access to those communications. I'll take the man at his word if they did. The bottom line is I give all credit to Justin for looking at Janelle's pioneering work in the modules like the Dark Tower that we looked at recently, like Caverns of Thracia that we've looked at in the past and people have gone through ad nauseum. It's one of the great modules, great adventures in our hobby. Full credit to him for analyzing what Janelle had done in these modules and picking out things to talk about. However, by renaming the technique in his name, he's taking credit for something he did not do. He didn't make those things. Those were not his achievements. Those were not his innovations. I don't know what other way to put it, and it doesn't matter whether she said, take my name off, please. It doesn't matter what the timing was. Bottom line, it's wrong, and it's misinformation. I don't care that, oh, well, I called, I renamed it after myself, but somewhere in the body you'll see where I give her credit for this, that, the other. You're naming it after yourself for something you did not do. All credit to you for discovering it, and I think in terms of you know payment for that, I think that's what helped bring his blog to many people's attention, was this really thoughtful analysis. If I go and I study film, and I look at a bunch of Martin Scorsese pictures, and I glean some interesting things that he had done in those pictures that maybe other folks hadn't noticed, and I put it together, it doesn't become the Todd technique. I didn't do it, or I wrote about it, great. I analyze it, great. It's still a Scorsese technique. Now, maybe I don't want to name it after Martin Scorsese. If Martin Scorsese sends me an angry email saying, take my name off your garbage theory. Fine. Maybe I'll pick something else. Maybe I'll, uh, and maybe it's, it's something in, in films he did about New York, so I'll call it the New York thing. Or I'll name it after the movie that's most well-known for it. Maybe it's something from Goodfellas. I'll call it the Goodfellas thing. What I don't do is pretend or label it as if I did it, because I didn't do it. When Justin did this originally on his blog, he did it the right way. It was something he found in her works. He attributed it to her. That's what you're supposed to do. Things get murkier when we, when we look at the decision and when that was made and whatever, but when he decided to change it to his name and call it Xandering. And I'm never going to call it Xandering. It's not Xandering. It's Jacazing. Or you can call it Thracian if you want to give it a name. That If you we decided that, hey, yes, she didn't want her name on it, let's call it Thracian. I think that works perfectly well. We could probably find some other name to call it. It is not Xandering. Just like it's not totting or hex pressing. We didn't do it. And no matter what you want to say about everything else, how you want to square the timelines, how you want to square the timing. Now, he has a book coming out, and he's trying to get all his marketing stuff. I get it. Look, man, he was on every every interview he could get, including my humble one, right? I get it, right? If you're, you're in the biz, you're trying to get that book out, get it out there. But there's a line, and taking somebody else's work and renaming it as your work is crossing that line. And the timing, of course, is awful. You can take away all the stuff that's talking about well, when and why. You can't get over the actual action. This is just wrong. I didn't think I could just stand by. Justin, I know you got a lot of good, great ideas out there and stuff that you've written about your book. Take one of those, right? The the three clue rule. Some of these other things that you talked about that you brought to the mainstream. It's not like he invented the rules of three, whatever, but he put it in a sense in a role-playing game sense. Take one of those and call it Xandering. But you're taking away someone else's legacy and trying to appropriate it as your own. And it's just wrong. I think it's pretty clear that it's wrong. And nothing's being done about it or the person who could very easily fix it 
isn't fixing it and is instead pointing to, well, you know, on this date or this date or this time or this time or when, whatever. It, none of that stuff mattered. That's all noise. It was wrong. I hope he knows it's wrong. I'm almost more disturbed if he doesn't think this is wrong. Can I go to the Alexandrian blog, grab something, write a couple of blog posts about it, and then rename it after myself? Could I go and take the three-clue rule, write some more blog posts, and suddenly turn it into the text press plotting rule? I think people would come after me, and rightfully so. It's wrong. But it's happening, or it's happened, and folks are talking about it. I wanted to weigh in simply because... I feel like having had him on the channel, it's just disappointing. I, I hope just people just do better, right? Make your own stuff. Put your name on that. You make a great discovery about someone else's work. It's thing number one. Attribute it. You don't get to find something that Da Vinci did and just because you found it, call it yours. You'll get your name out there. Justin's got his name out there with his blog for coming up with this great analysis. But ultimately, the work was not yours. It was Janelle. Janelle Jacques's work. And so it should remain her work and identifiable as such. Let me know what you think. Game on. Talk to you later.